All right, guys, welcome to the video. Good morning uh, or good afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching this. Um, it is currently 10 to 8 on a Monday morning, so that's why I'm looking particularly tired. Um, today we have squats and we have bench, some doubles at an RP of 8, which uh, is well it's getting there getting a bit more exciting uh peaking is going on now so it started to hit some singles last week and everything hurts <laughs> first week done so hopefully over the next couple of weeks i can get into it a little bit more and everything start to grease grease in the groove and all that you know um still got my like, pre-workout to take taking this um it's all right it's not too strong which is quite uh quite nice, I don't really handle them very well. Uh, I had the My Protein pre-workout um, on Saturday for a little squat PR, if you haven't seen it, uh, which is strawberry and kiwi one. I had that and so I don't know what it was, whether it's just been a while since I've taken uh, a more a higher serving pre-workout, but I nearly threw up straight away. It was. I think it was literally just too much powder on mouth at once. Uh, that's what she said. <laughs> Bad. Um, yeah, so squats and bench today. Uh, see how I get on. Alright guys, just finished my workout, real sort of mixed bag session, lots of good, lots of not so good. Um, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, and um, and if you don't, it is in my description, at psych underscore lifting, check it out, like, follow, share, show your postman, just whatever you want, but please, I would highly... Uh, Highly appreciate a bit of support on that. 180 for two, I think my top set was. I say I think, I know that's what it was. Um, definitely, it was meant to be an eight. Definitely misgrooved the second rep quite spectacularly. Uh, you'll have just seen it, but I definitely just lost all my positioning. I think I just got out the first rep, felt really good. Thought, I'm just gonna dive bomb the second rep and sort of fluffed it a bit. So I put in as a nine, I definitely had another rep. Um, but I definitely lost my positioning on that. And because of that, I've just got a little strain in my back. Um, it's my upper back, sort of lower trap rhomboid area. So I'm not really too worried about it. I just think a bit of, you know, R&R, &R, a bit of foam rolling, plenty of food, and I'll be fine in a couple of days. 
Um, but it definitely meant that my bench didn't quite go as well as I would have wanted. My arch was just a little bit suspect. Um, so I got up to 110 for two. You've just seen it anyway. Um, but definitely wasn't feeling as good as it has done the last couple of days. Um, I'll be careful these next next you know, couple of days anyway. I've got a bench session tomorrow, which I might push back a day um, just to give myself a bit more time to recover. But all in all, good session. Uh, I'm going to play it by ear to whether I come back. I will probably come back in later in the day, but I was meant to do a little pull session later on. But whether I do any heavy rows or anything, I'm not 100%. But I'll just see how, see how I'm feeling. Um, for now, I've got to go and start work, uh, get get a little bit of food, try and stop to say stop saying the word air constantly, something I'm always working on. Um, but, oh, God's sake, <laughs> uh, so annoying. But I'll, um, I'll get back to you guys in the next clip. Not 100% sure when it will be, but it'll be some time later. Right, see you later. Right, guys it is a lovely day out today um just going for a quick walk after my lunch uh, i ate way too quickly like so quickly and now my belly hurts but uh this is what we gotta do i uh god i'm out of breath why is my cardio so bad uh the the chunk of boy life yeah um just having a walk not really Wanting to go back inside, back to work. It's uh, it's really nice out, but my back's pretty sore. Uh, so as you have probably mentioned earlier, um, pulled my pulled my back a little bit. Uh, not definitely not ideal. Uh, I would probably normally just have the have the day off for the second part of my workout. Um, not that bothered about training, you know, biceps or back or whatever it is anyway, but. Uh, I kind of need a photo. I've got a post or I'm writing up a post about uh, anorexia, anorexia nervosa. So I kind of need a photo for that. I don't have anything, uh, anything that I'd like to use. So I'll just be, <laughs> just be getting a quick pump and uh, and taking three thousand photos to try and make myself not look chubby anymore. I guess I could, I could use a throwback one from when I was a little bit skinnier, but. Uh, that always leads to the comments of, oh, wow, you look great now. Have you lost weight? And I'm like, no, no, I have not. Uh, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But for now, back home, back to work. I might, might do a little bit of a discussion bit about peaking. Um, and mentioned, actually, you know what? I'll just talk about it now. Um, so peaking essentially is a... Uh, block in my training routine and training plans where I'm looking to decrease um, fatigue while increasing fitness. So fitness in this sense means being able to hit a good one rep max. Um, so how I would typically do that is I'd gradually decrease volume as the weeks go on um, and increase singles, tons of singles, loads of intensity, um, but yeah, not a lot of volume. Uh, as you know, volume is one of the key drivers of adaptation, uh, especially strength adaptation. So you build up your strength over your strength blocks and peaking is sort of uh, the time where you get used to uh, showing that. Uh, so at the moment, I'm squatting two singles a week, benching two singles a week, and I'm not actually deadlifting singles. Uh, my deadlift isn't anywhere near where I want it to be, so I'm sort of getting as much out of a strength block as I possibly can. I've, I've decided to cut um, a big chunk of my strength block. Now I had two more strength blocks before I was going to max out. Um, what I've decided to do is actually just peak now. Um, oh God, I got hit. Um, it's just a peak now, not worry too much about um, how much strength I have peak, get it out of the way, hit a single and then have, I'd have, I think five blocks instead of three blocks yeah five blocks instead of three blocks leading into winter max outs which are arguably more important for me because of lockdown and everything like that i'm not in the position i wanted to be right now so i think getting me 
the time to really get into that the swing of things build momentum into those max outs is going to be the best way i can hit my uh, goals for the end of the year uh, which are still set uh, the 260 deadlift is let's be honest nowhere near um, if when i max out i can pull 225 230 which is basically around my old one rep max anyway um, with better form and hook grip I'll be I'll be fairly happy with that because that gives me a bit of room to to improve um, squat is 200 I think that's going to be falling in in the next couple of weeks anyway I hit 180 for two today for for a PR and still I think I had one definitely had one more rep maybe on a if I didn't misgroove the second rep I'd have a bit more but uh, yeah, so that's feeling good. Bench is, bench is always stalled. My bench doesn't really do anything anyway. It never really gets any stronger. So I've got, to be fair, one, I had 115 single and it felt really good. But it's just like, that that 130 is uh, is always going to be out the way a little bit. When you when you built like, I don't even know if that looked long. When you built like Slenderman, his uh, less successful younger brother, then your, your bench is never going to be that good. But we're gonna get it in anyway. I'm not cutting my bench volume until like the last minute. So hopefully I'll have as much strength in my bench and deadlift, see what I can do. Squat is going well, so I don't know. We'll we'll see. But then into a bit of power building, I'm gonna drop my frequency down, um, really work on um resensitizing to uh to frequency so one of the things is i typically squat three sometimes more times never really less i think if i can get used to squatting two times again two times a week again and then as i build it up to three and then potentially four later in the strength blocks and peaking block then i think that'll put me in a really good stead to uh to hit something big in well december just before christmas um loads of time left feeling good everything's going well uh, like I said, a little bit of a pulled back muscle, but I don't think that's going to be anything of uh, issue over the next couple of days. All right, so anyway, I'll see you in the next clip. What a shock. I am in the gym uh, exactly how I said I would be. Uh, back is still a little bit sore, but we're just going to get a little bit of a back pump. Uh, maybe do a couple of curls. Uh, and get a relatively good photo for Instagram um, at psych underscore lifting, what a shameless plug. Um, I've got a very nice post written up about anorexia I mentioned earlier. It's really long, really boring, super like over, <laughs> super long-winded unnecessarily and um, I can't wait to post it and get six likes after all that effort. But um, I'm going to do some back. I'm, gonna be careful nothing really super super heavy or anything wide grip rows maybe something maybe something else maybe some shrugs or something anyway uh really poor edit maybe in three two edit mm. really a waste of time if I'm being honest um, I spent half of it scrolling through Instagram and looking for a photo and I, I said I wanted to take a photo I didn't actually the photo I used in the end was just one of me in a t-shirt smiling it didn't even I did it right at the start I didn't even need need the workout but um did you've just seen it anyway but did some rows shrugs and some curls and stuff so just getting a bit of, a bit of blood into the 
muscles that I don't normally hit with with my powerlifting stuff. Um, definitely got a real sweat on. It's really, really warm in here. Um, as far as the video, I think I think I'll call it here, same as what I did last time. I don't want these to be too long. I'm not great at editing and things like that, as you've as you've just seen. Um, so I don't really want them to last forever. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to end this here. Thank you for watching if you've got this far. If not, then you won't be seeing this, so not really an issue. Um, but if you can, check out my Instagram account. That is at psych underscore lifting. I've mentioned it probably a million times already. But, you know, got to, got to mark it yourself. Um, and as far as this, please like, subscribe. If you can leave me a comment uh, just to see whether you liked it, hated it what you want me to do next, it will be more of this garbage probably, but if there's anything you want me to talk about regarding uh, mental health, mental, Ill mental illness, um, I try to leave that stuff for Instagram because you can write out a caption and you know, it's. Uh, I have a tendency to ramble on, I think you guys have probably noticed that. But yeah, so like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace, I'm gonna edit that out, peace. Not for me.